All right, guys, 24.1 was announced this afternoon. We have a combination of dumbbell snatches and burpees over the dumbbell. I wanna talk you through some mobility considerations to make sure that you're moving efficiently so you can get your best score. So the biggest thing that stands out with this workout is the amount of hinging and forward bending we're gonna be doing. So with that single arm dumbbell snatch, we're gonna be flexing forward and rotating over and over and over again. So we wanna make sure that we have the capacity to tolerate both the flexion and the rotation. So I'm gonna recommend that we start off with spending some time working on our QL muscles. So we can use a lacrosse ball to kind of stick into this area. It's to the side of the spine in between the rib cage and the pelvis. And these muscles, if they're stiff, can make it difficult to bend forward, to side bend, to rotate. So we'll make sure that we have uh, some nice pliability through these muscles. Next, we're gonna start to work into some thoracic rotation. I really like a wall uh, rotation where you can leverage the wall for some assistance just to open up um, this T-spine rotation. Again, we'll make sure that we have good rotational capacity with the dumbbell snatch, um, both for the reaching forward and the reaching overhead. From there, we're gonna move into some hip mobility, working on our forward fold position, both for jumping down and jumping up in the burpee so that feels as effortless as possible. So I like to use a banded high hamstring mobilization, kind of mobilize the posterior hip capsule, work on our capacity to bend forward. Finally, we're gonna finish with a banded lat opener. We're gonna add some side bending and some rotation into this just to open up all of these tissues so they're able to find a nice lockout with the dumbbell overhead and be able to breathe easily throughout. That's all for mobility tips for 24.1. Best of luck to everyone competing and we'll see you next week.